Hi Capricorns, welcome back. Part two, video two. I'm going to clarify, calling on spirit for Capricorn, why Capricorns are still single. So if you're a single Capricorn, welcome. I'm Tarot Love. This is a 10 card tarot with extra info and bonus on where and how to find love. First question is, why are you still single? I got the Ace of Swords. You're going to want to watch video one, part one. Thank you, Spirit. The Page of Pentacles in reverse and clarification of why you're still single. Somebody needed space to breathe. And you are either trying a new approach, something like that. I kind of get the fact that you need to try a new approach. And don't give up too soon, please. Please remember to take what resonates and don't force it to fit. But... If you are still single because you needed to take space to breathe from your love life or somebody else needed to take space for their love life, what I got, and, and, and now in clarification, is somebody here who needed you to make space for a love life. Either you didn't change your habits, um, you were working too much, you know, you just, something didn't click. That's on the table. Um, we also see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign. And so while we have all these great business ideas, but you're not ready to move forward with it, I think that was them. I think that's them. I think that they did, and they do. Um, so you're you're going to not want to miss this opportunity. Somebody's going to change their mind. You don't know it yet. You can't see it. You're still single. They're not ready to move forward with it. So here we saw tons of swords in the first part. And so here you are brainstorming. You can't stop thinking about, you know, and it's almost like you think they're wishy-washy. They're full of shit. That they're keeping secrets. And so we, we stay single. We put our love life on hold. Capricorn's. Just too busy. Too busy. And we're single. So in a nutshell, we're just too, we're too busy to take the time to make a relationship work. So in the order for us right now, as I'm calling on spirit, try this in order to find love. So our, because you know Capricorn, you'll actually, I just wondered if we're going to actually move forward with any of our plans in July of 2023 by August. And I'm asking, why are you still single? We're going to find out what you can do about it. You're going to want to check out video one, part one, spirit. What should they try? Try this in order to find your future love. Clarification. Let's clarify why they need to try to give their energy to, and do you really want all of this to end? It would be the queen of cups. Your future love... And what you need to try to do, you've been, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to get their attention. To show them that you would take really good care of them. You know? You're very compassionate to them. This is... You trying to find true love. Someone we can fix, nurture, and support. Sometimes this other person has a big influence and who they get with is very important to them in their life now. There is an influence. It's a very influential. So you will need to understand that you're not the only person in other people's lives for something. Somebody needs to hear that. And... Try to understand that they don't want your money. They don't want your money. 
Somebody needs to know that. They don't want your money. You don't need to work all the time. It's not about that. This person, Capricorn, is hypersensitive to manipulation. They can smell an agenda a mile away. You know what I mean? And they're probably right. So try to understand. Try to understand that they they can smell an agenda. You know, like it was. It, it's a lot. And, and, and somebody taking that. Like, okay, give me a minute. And now here you are. Do you want all of this to really end? Because when I asked Spirit what should Capricorn do in order to find your future love and clarification, we get the Three of Cups. Cool. Better to lean on friends and family during this time. Especially if you're ready to give up on life. We need somebody to talk to. Talk to your friends and family. It's really hard to tell the truth and express our emotions right now for Capricorn, but we need to. We need to be there for our friends and our family. They need you. They love you. So if you're experiencing high levels of stress about love, I'm looking for love and our future love. It's a better time to focus just on meeting lots of new people. Spending quality time with your close friends. You do not need to make a firm commitment right now. And you shouldn't. Because somebody's getting ready to change their mind. And it's going to come in handy if you don't give up yet. So this is what you need to do. Alright, thank you Spirit. Do this. Okay. So what will this other person do? What will this other person, our future love, what will they do? What will they be? Thank you. Fair. They're going to be texting you. They're going to be giving you a call. We saw earlier, and this is clarifying how they're going to be out of your league. Really, it's just because they're so good looking. They're very beautiful. They will be so beautiful, you're like, they're just out of my league. I'll never get this person, right? Maybe we've even tried in the past. But um, I mean, they just have this very enthusiastic and proactive attitude. They're proactive. Do it right. Don't make me second best. They're prepared to talk a lot. They will talk to all kinds of people. And take the time that is needed to learn more about them. Before they make commitments. They will say, what do you do for a living? Um, you know, what's going on? So bear in mind that this, is, this person loves to talk. They're going to spend the whole time talking about themselves. This is them. This is what they will be. Okay? This is the type of person that says live and learn. You know what I mean? And they've overcome a lot of things and they're, they're changing. It's different now. So... They will be your partner. They will be someone we are able to get in a close relationship. January, February, March, April, May, June, July of 2023. Yes. This is a very honorable person. You know, they're a very honorable dude or a dudette. Not one to go around breaking people's hearts on purpose. And once they do make up their mind to commit, they commit. I mean, they've gone through a lengthy internal process of weighing things out with you. In every possible scenario, guys, this person has. They won't turn back after all that work. And you can't see it yet. That's who they're going to be. Alright, so where, Spirit, where can Capricorn find their future love. 
and then we'll ask when, where, was where we talk it out. It's where it's this person we've been talking to. This person who has, will not talk to us right now. Only shows up once every eight months. Something like that. It's a year. It's been a year since you've seen him. I don't know. You know who I'm talking about. Globe trotting all over the world. This is where the world is their oyster. Where we talk it out. We talk about current world events. We talk about our world. This is all they talk about. Is how good it is out there. I don't know. That's where. Out in the world today. When. <laughs> Spirit please and thank you. The Four of Cups. When you widen your search. When you quit being so overprotective, relax, share our feelings, be receptive, because somebody's just not making any commitments yet, you guys. This is when perhaps you haven't found that right person yet person over here is turning down people left and right. You are getting turned down by people left and right and ready to give up on your love life. We're running the risk of closing ourselves off from a real fulfilling relationship, Spirit says. This is when, when you close yourself off, be the law of attraction, they're going to come in. So I think we just need to calm down and find out and get some advice. Spirit, can we get some advice? For Capricorns, this is resonating for so far. The advice was for Capricorn to change. In order for you to change it up in your love life, something that's not working. If it's not working, it's not working. And don't go to work so much. You workaholic dudes and do that. I mean, what's going on here? This is this is Capricorn going it alone. Going to work alone. Getting carbon monoxide poisoning and dying from a generator. I saw it. These are my friends. This is what's happened recently. Sorry guys, it's just coming out in the reading today. The advice, and if you watched part one video one, this will make sense, and it should now, if it resonates, Spirit says, stop work and plan your next step, your next steps, because there is lack of respect for this person's time. And something, in your, or you're giving your time to other people trying to help them fix them. This person don't need fixed. But it's the love of your life. It's your future love. Alright, Spirit. What's Capricorn's first impression of their future love, please? That they toy in with my emotions. This very beautiful romantic person. And your first impression in the five of wands. Okay, thank you spirit. That they're seeing someone else. They're talking to other people online. They're coming up against a lot of competition. Because they're so beautiful. Your first impression was to be aggressive and jump in and get them before somebody else does. And then take responsibility 
somehow, we still juggle our priorities. And we think we can. Our first impression is, oh, I can do this. I can have a relationship. You know, they're going to love me. Do we? That first impression is, they're going to be like, he, she, she, my Capricorn, he or she, does not have time for me. I'm making time for other people to help them. You've got family. You've got friends. You've got jobs. You don't got time for them. They don't want to be second best. Leave a little quality time for each other. Our first impression should have been, how can I simplify my schedule and allow more time for just the two of us? There's always been somebody else there. You guys haven't really been alone. Every time they come over, you've got somebody else there. And that's okay, but that's just what's going on. And this is the first impression. You see what I'm saying? So I can, I can get that. And that makes really good sense. And then the other people are trying to win the heart of the person that you have your eye on, which explains why you're trying, you're, you know, ready to give up. But you're going to give up. You're going to give up on somebody who's not giving up on you yet, and you don't even see it. And so why you think that they are toying with your emotions, they're not making time, they don't have time for you, maybe, is the first impression. Spirit, uh... What, do they, what does Capricorn have in common with their future love? The lovers and the four of swords in reverse. Okay, this is getting interesting. Well, look at that. We're clarifying a very powerful connection in the first round in part one, video one. The first part of the reading, what you guys have in common was a very powerful connection. And now in clarification, we see the lovers, very powerful, most powerful card in a love reading. But the four of swords in reverse. So I'm going to gather to say that this very powerful love, this very powerful future connection could very well turn out to be a fairy tale romance. We both want a fairy tale romance. And what you both have in common is you just need relationships with a single key ingredient, and that is space. That makes sense. You guys have that in common. Taking space to breathe, trying a new approach at a love life. And what you can't see is that you actually have the better end of the deal, Capricorn, which is really sad that you want to give up because this person not isn't always easy to live with. Phone relationships, text relationships suit this person even better right now. What you guys have in common? Voice communication. We like to talk about love. We like to talk about the same things. Back in college, I knew I was trouble. I had a great friendship going with a woman I met in class and I realized it and I'd rather talk to her on the phone than for that person to be my girlfriend. I'm hearing spirit say, so whatever that means. So here's Jim and I experiencing a lull and finding their partner. So are they. That's what we have in common. It's time to take a time out, recharge my energy. And so I would say it's the calm before the storm. It's the calm before the storm, guys. It's very important that many of you take this to heart. Your first impression is such so while you you know there I don't know what you was thinking in the beginning but hopefully you have a different outlook on it now so what do we have in common first impressions now let's go with some extra info bonus and clarification to very positive people who if we stay positive we're going to be able to find our future love. And that's key. 
I need you to stay strong for me. I need you to stay strong for you. They need you to stay strong for them. Don't give up. Extra bonus info. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is strong. Don't forget to hit like, tap on subscribe, help my vibe, guys. Please help my algorithm. It's going to be okay. Just need somebody to talk to. Please take the time to talk to someone. You just need space to breathe. If you don't understand why somebody's not getting in a relationship with you, they are just taking time and space to breathe. We're going to try a new approach. Maybe you need to try a new approach. Try to give your energy to um, not putting an end to this because they will be out of your league where we talk it out. When you widen your search, they're going to come in. Um, they may, you may, first impression is that they're toying with my emotions, yet they're a very romantic, very beautiful person. This is a very powerful connection, Spirit is saying, that you are two very positive people. This is also a selfish lover. Me, me, me. They make their self their priority. They have a beautiful personality, but something here is being affected by the planet Mars. And this could have everything to do with being first, being number one. Don't make me second best. Spend time with me. I got to be number one if I'm going to be with Capricorn. Bottom line. Bottom line. Thank you, Spirit. And I do feel like that makes really good sense. I mean, this is a highly energetic sexual person who embraces life and makes the most of its dynamic energy. They like to flirt with you. They want to be flirted with, impressed, and they want to be impressed. But they are also very spontaneous. So, you know, they might be fun. There's a bit of romance. Maybe even sex, like I said earlier. This person could not even be looking for a long-term partner right yet. But they are what you need for action in your love life and you just know it. You know that you need this person in your life. You need this future love and I want to manifest this for you guys. I really do. So don't give up yet. Stay positive because they are. I mean, what does this person want, spirit? What do you get when you cross a kindergarten teacher, superwoman, and a porn star? The perfect wife. And according to this person, that's what they think. They want a lifelong personal lap dancer, natural sweetness, maternal instincts, passion, and star power. That's what they want. Maybe that's what you want. It doesn't hurt if this person's an amazing cook and a domestic goddess. Being with this person is no easy task for anyone, Capricorn. It's not just you. Especially if it's Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. In fact, it's a demanding gig that was going to keep you on your toes. Spirit says in extra info and advice, um, we got this. Uh, this person is, yes, the cream of the crop. But they know it. They only want the cream of the crop. But they always rise to the top. And so can you. At least in their mind. They feel like they're always entitled to the best. And so while you're out working your ass off for that money, you got the money and they don't want your money. They want your time. They want you to pamper them. They want you to take, you know, and do everything for them. But you got to be there to be able to do it because the rules and the norms don't apply to this person. And they'll even go out of their way to prove it. So all you did was text, hey, how you doing? And they said, oh my God, don't text me after 11. I'm on a routine. I'm going to bed. And then they block you for two days. They're going out of their way to prove that what you think is normal. Don't know. They're different. It's me. I'm different. I'm unique. They're very spirited, adventurous. They're very advanced in their social status. They want you to coddle them like a baby. I mean, we said it. Hey, 
Because let's face it, most of us have overdeveloped one of those qualities, using it at the expense of others. And then Capricorn, we fall into this role. We're either the sexy temptress or the smart chick. We're always the bridesmaids, the caretaker type. And you're tired of that. You're ready to give up on your love life. But deep down, this bookish honor girl yearns to be your homecoming queen. For some reason, we have to make space for that. This is a human Barbie doll who wants to be taken very seriously in spite of their double Ds. Mommy wants those screaming brats to know she's a person with needs of her own. Spirit wants you to know that perhaps what looks like an arrogant, selfish, demanding person is just somebody up in the ante for you. Because we're on... You know, you're out of my league, okay? And I hope that helps. But So it's like, why can't the homing queen be history professor too? I don't know. They wear many hats. They could probably do that too. They just, they don't trust the porn star types like you because you're too way too possessive and jealous. I mean, this person's a big baby. You gotta be the center of the universe. In your world. And that's what's going on. So they're going to come a calling. And they're going to want that. So you got to be available 24-7. Because it's a one-stop shop for all of this person's primal needs and affections. Even when it comes to sex. So now for the warning label. Spirit says all that doubting might keep 